Hello everyone. Thank you so much for joining in. We'll be starting at sharp four. So um, just stay tuned. And if you have any questions, please feel free to write them in the chat window.
good evening everyone thank you so much for joining in welcome to the manapatra webinar on how do you up your legal research game uh, i have my colleague abhay here with me so throughout the webinar if you have any questions please feel free to write it in the chat window or in the q and a box we'll take them as we go abhay will keep responding to your queries or if there's a detailed query or something that you want me to show you we'll take it towards the end of the webinar i really hope that this is a very learning enriching experience for you so um without any further uh, layback we'll get st um, straight to it so in this session we'll essentially cover these six heads one is what are the smart search interfaces that manavatra offers and how can they serve you to make your legal research faster and better the second is how do you you know reduce time when you're researching through small features or small tips and tricks third is what are the editorial enhancements that we offer that would reduce your um, reading time when you're moving through judgments or acts or authorities and more fourth is a lot of time is spent in compiling and organizing your research so how you can use manavatra to make document sharing collaboration on different issues easy and helpful for you fifth is citations made easy so if you need a copy of a judgment and you have the citation how do you go about it if you need an equivalent citation for something that you found here how do you go about it things like that sixth and last is uh, what are the anal um analytics and visualization tools that we cover on manapatra that would make your legal research faster again as i show you the features if you have any queries regarding them or something that you would like me to show you towards the end of the webinar please feel free to write it in the chat window so moving on these are the four search interfaces that we offer on manapatra the first is manu search so essentially whenever you have a legal research proposition or any kind of query for that matter even like if you have it in your general life you would go to google and search so for legal research manu search is your that ordinary it offers you a single search box with free text search so whatever query whatever proposition you have you can just go type it there and you know uh, run the search furthermore um, you know i we had a lot of questions throughout the registration process on how we can uh, you know search for a proposition or how you can um, you know uh, directly search for a question that you have so any kind of free text search that you need to do which aren't using key keywords or which aren't using key phrases you can always um, you know do manu search for that um like is my voice proper now is it better now that i'm speaking abhay sir if you could please prompt me so a few queries regarding that uh, yes ma'am there is a slight lag but i think you're pretty pretty much audible so i think okay sir it's good thank you so much uh, okay so as i was saying with manu search any kind of query anything that you want to search you can do a free text search there how is that helpful because that would give you a broad um you know relevant authorities that would come in which you can then do a nested search so what nested search is search within results all these i'll show you on our website by running live queries so that you can see actually how it works right now i'll just walk you through all the features that it is offer third is it off also offers you proximity search proximity search is suppose i need um you know a couple of words that have to be in the same sentence suppose if i have to uh, search for shares of a company and uh, for a company that has gone into liquidation okay so distribution of shares in a company that has gone into liquidation now when i'm running a search i want them to be close to each other as in in the same sentence so that i know that my judgment would be exactly talking about that again that is something that you can do here um next is you can search for synonyms so again when you just have a blind proposition that you want to run um, with us you can just click on the synonym uh, check box that is there and 
once you type the query you check that box you would even get search results for synonyms of the word that you have written in your proposition so again it makes you it makes legal research very simple for you because you just whatever comes to your mind after reading your proposition you can just run a free search then refine it further and reach your relevant um, you know uh, authorities lastly you can use filters sorter timeline whatever is your requirements as per the legal research that you're doing making it you know a very streamlined easy to use search interface next is citation search now on manupatra we cover over 342 plus indian journals and 75 plus international journals um what i mean by this is that all the judgments and every document that is published in all these journals are available on manupatra so no matter where you know you want the judgment from it is there now you have a citation that is from an international university or an international journal and you want to search it to get the uh, you know proper judgment on manupatra so that you can print it out use in your court use in your moot or use in your own studies all you need to do is type it in into your um, into the citation search that we provide and you will get the exact relevant judgment not just this suppose you know that um, this particular judgment was published in the air in this year but you don't know the volume or the page number no worries you can just search for that year's air whatever judgment were there they would come so if even if you have a partial citation you can go about searching for the same okay um the next is legal search now legal search is when you can search by specific elements okay so what are those elements if you want to search for a judgment by party name if you want to search for a judgment by date of decision so you know that this judgment had come on that date but you don't know anything else about it or you just have you know it was on this subject so if you have partial information of various elements of the judgment you can you know run that search as well if you just know the judge name who had presided over that judgment so you know that Uh, you know, Honorable Justice Chandra Chud gave a judgment on this subject. Just type those two things; you'll get it. You know that it was on this section of an act. You need, you know, um, judgments just on a particular section of on a of a particular act. You'll get that. If you need that this section or provision had to be discussed or relied on in this case, you'll get that. That you know, you just enter it there. You enter the act. You'll get exactly, um, you know. Judgments for that particular act or section by case number you can search. So if you have any element that you want to search for, without having to run you know full fledged searches, you can always just run it through you know knowing the elements through our legal search feature. Lastly, we have an assisted search feature. Now again, there were a lot of questions that we received which were about boolean search. Now. boolean search is when you can search for phrase, phrases when you can exclude phrases when you can combine and see if two phrases are exactly there in the judgment again it lets you search for all the words in your set search query exactly the way they are or any of the words in the search query that you have suppose you have you want um, judgments on homosexuality that include live in relationships or uh, you know a child just type these three words you can search any of the uh, words in the search query and you'll get it if you want an exact phrase you want conjugal rights you can search that if you want to eliminate words in a search query you have a search query but you don't want judgments regarding you know a particular element of that suppose you want uh, uh, to run a search query on divorce but you don't want where a child is involved or if you, you don't want whether a living relationship was involved you can exclude those terms if you want to see again proximity of um, search of phrase, phrases you can do that there so this is the fourth kind of um, assist um, search interface that we offer which is called the assisted search now i'll show you all of these searches on the manupatra website to you know um, show you how it is actually done one and to show you you know live that this is the method and so that it stays with you a little longer i'll just um, you know share my screen again and show show all the interfaces there so this is the manupatra website uh, i'll just log in 
again, all the search interfaces that I was talking about, again, these are all the easy icons you can choose on Manupatra for fast and relevant research. Um, all the search interfaces that we offer that I just showed you, Manu search, legal search, citation search, assisted search, all these you can find just right here on the top bar of our uh, Manupatra website. I'll start with Manu search. So as I said that, you know, you can start with as broad a query as possible. Okay, so suppose you have a query of finding up a company or, you know, something even broad. You're writing a paper on gender justice and you want to explore various areas of it. You can just start off with gender justice. Just type it there. Again, we show you relevant phrases that can be used. Once you do it, very similar to Google, it is, you know, your Google alternative for legal reasons. Now, I just ran the query gender justice. Again, there are some 7,330 results that have come, which I've mentioned gender justice. You can see Vishaka uh, and others was the state of Rajasthan and others is the first. And it's, again, it's the most relevant judgment that can come given, you know, the harassment guidelines that came. Also, it is a case of international importance. Now, however, I want to search in results, okay? And I want to search where... Um, in a judgment, gender justice was talked about, but also living relationships were talked about. So I'll just type living relationships here. And I've taken the search and results tab here. Okay. Once I do that, it would show me all the searches from my gender justice search where living relationship was also mentioned. So I'll just rewind the search from here. What this does is it allows you to start from a very broad search proposition and then filter it to, you know, reach exactly the judgments that you're looking for or exactly the authorities that you're looking for. Again, now from 7,330 judgments, we went to straight to 724 judgments. Again, I can refine it as, you know, further as I want. Suppose I want to see if, you know, two things are near each other. So for gender justice, if I want to also search that child custody, if these are near each other, I'll just run the search. And there's this one, you know, case um, document that talks about it. Again, it gives you the exact, you know, document that would be relevant to your search just by doing this. So as you can see, I've run um, this, Search, I've shown you search and results. I've shown you near each other, which is a proximity search. Again, you can see this is the synonym tab. I can pick the synonym tab and for gender, for justice, for child, for custody, whatever synonyms are there that have been mentioned in any authority, that can um, that would be shown in the results. Now moving on to legal search. Again, as I sh uh, just showed you before, this you can search by different elements of the search kind of search that you're looking for. It also offers you act search, rule search, you know, if you're into taxation, direct search, GST search, if you just want to look at judgments related to GST. But, um, you know, we are, we do have a limited amount of time. So I'll just show you the broad heads that are available here. Suppose I just want to um, search for uh, a judgment by a party name, or I want to search for judgments under a particular subject. Suppose I just want to search for judgments under contract. I'll just select contract and I'll run the search. What this would do is this would give me all the judgments where contract was a subject. Again, it's a very important subject. So we have around 19,721 judgments on it. But again, in the same way, you can keep, as I just showed you before, you can keep filtering, uh, you know, these results by search and results by other queries, and you can reach your most relevant uh, judgment that you're looking for. Again, I'll just walk you through a few more features of the legal search. So again, if you have a case note that you're looking for, if you have a disposition that you're looking for, if the appeal was allowed, dismissed, partly allowed, whatever the situation was there. If you're looking for, uh, you know, the date that uh, I want judgments that came on exactly this date, you can again select that. If you want a range, you can, you know, make that search too. 
if you want judgments which were under a specific section of the act all you have to do is you have to select whether it's a act for from india whether it's an act you know it's a state act it's a central act then the next thing you do is type you know three letters from your act select the section write down the section number and run the search i'll just show you for you know if you want a particular judgment from a particular act where um that particular section has been actually discussed in the discussion so how do you go about it here i'll just write ipc and then penal code 1860 the the section 377 so i'll just run a search for it i want judgments where section 377 of the ipc has been discussed what this does is this would give me in my results all the judgments where uh, section 377 was discussed i'll just you know run this again i think due to internet issues Okay, so here are forty-seven judgments. Yes, section three seventy-seven was discussed by the court. Again, uh, you can search in results if you're looking for something specific um, on section three seventy-seven filtering searches. So it makes you know section-wise search or act-wise search also very easy for you. Again, if I have to look for a specific citation, so I'll just pick um, the first judgment that we had in the results was. Um, this navteet singh johar so i have the citation for it and i'll just search for that citation there okay give me a second selected the air i know which year it was so i'll just enter the year i don't have the volume number which it was for but i do have the page number so i'll just enter that and as you can see it gives me um, you know relevant suggestions on to what what page numbers are available for that year's air once i run the search it would give me the exact judgment that i'm looking for if i just have the citation i don't have to run free text searches for citation i don't have to run um you know any kind of other searches if i just want to have the judgment for a particular citation very useful for when you are you know going for a moot or if you are a professional then you want the copy of a judgment again from anpasta we provide you the court copy that i'll again show you forward so you can you know easily with a citation search get that we have both indian and international citation searches provided here so it does not matter if you're doing you know search for a national matter or an international matter you can um, you know get it that way also next i'll move on to assisted search so here as we were just going through um you can search you know this is boolean search made easy you can search for an entire phrase you can search for any of these words what i'll show you is if i have two phrases in my mind and i need to get you know the relevant judgments according to that i'll just type child custody here with visiting rights so if it's a family issue and i just want to have judgments where both of these are covered so that i don't have to you know for search for uh, divorce cases then child custody then visiting rights i can just do it from here i'll just run the search and again i have 50 judgments where child custody and visiting rights are discussed as you can see the first judgment itself is from the supreme court where it says that the father would have you know visiting rights or what other issues are now i can go through these judgments and uh, you know select what are the relevant ones according to my proposition all these are the four search interfaces that we offer on manapatra that make legal research simpler for you however the you know work does not end here there are many other features that we offer that would take you 
you know even beyond this and reduce your re- uh, your legal research time further so i'll just take you back with the presentation so the next is how do you do faster speedy search one is you after you have got all the relevant results by using the search interfaces you can have filters you know on the basis of quote on the basis of subject document type the judge presided over the matter which ministry it was from uh, what was the strength of the judge bench uh, what was the period if it was you know before 2010 after 2010 before 1960 you know whatever uh, time period you want a judgment from or a document from you can select that you can select which industry you want the judgments from you can select which department you want judgments from also you can you know if you don't want a judgment and you're looking for articles or journals you can just select that and the results would be filtered according to your selected preference next is we also provide you sorters so what do sorters do sorters essentially you can um, you know sort the results that have come according to court name according to um, decision date according to where it has been cited where it has been cited most cited most essentially gives you an idea of how relevant the judgment is is if it has been mentioned you know a lot of times going forward so i'll just show you these two quickly on the uh, on the previous results that we came through the last search that we ran on manavatra so just one second as you can see here is the sorter so i have 50 judgments but i want to see what is the most recent judgment on this issue i just select decision date by the newest now uh, the last time this was uh, mentioned in a judgment was for a madras high court judgment in the january of this year it is there now i only want to look at judgments from the supreme court i can just select supreme court here and the 10 judgments that talk about child custody and visiting rights are all listed here if i want to search it by keyword adoption if there was an adoption there if someone has reached an age of majority i can look at all the keywords from these judgments i can select suppose i just want to see if you know the child had reached an age of majority what would be the consequence there i just select on this keyword i get the exact judgment where there are there's child custody there's visiting rights involved um there's the age of majority that we had selected as per the keyword so everything that we were looking for in two three simple steps we came to the exact most relevant judgment so you know that is how it works just going back to the presentation next is what what happens when you have reached the most relevant judgment that you're looking for once you open the judgment there are additional features that we offer you that makes it easier for you to go through the judgment now go through the judgment in the sense that indian judges write judgments which can be 10 pages which can be 1000 pages which can be 2500 pages now if you have to go through a judgment and you have to you know read through the entire it's a monumental task how do you make sure that a judgment is relevant to you right at the onset without having to read you know 500 pages and then be disappointed that okay it does not exactly talk about what my proposition is so how do you go about it first of all um, we have an editorial note provided by our editorial team which has basic facts of the case what was the disposition of the case you know what were the major acts that were mentioned what were the major sections that were mentioned what were the keywords that were mentioned so what it does is it just takes you 2 minutes to go through and you can see that all the pointers that you're looking for um judgment of from a particular act a particular section if a particular keyword is defined there if there's a particular element that you're looking for that has been you know if that has been discussed in that case or not that you can easily you know reach just by going through the editorial note of the judgment okay next if you want to see what are the key paragraphs of a judgment you know so that you don't have to read the entire thing now key paragraphs are the ones that form the crux of the judgment okay so and which have been cited in the future judgments 
mpara allows you to allows to show you key paragraphs of a judgment on the basis of the number of times it has been referred to in other judgments not just this you can open the judgment on the same screen go through it and then you know further if you want to move on to that judgment you can do that i'll show you all these in a couple of minutes on the manopatra website but before that we'll walk through the other features that we have the next that we have is cited in para now this gives you in a chronological order what was the most recent time this particular case was cited paragraph wise so you just don't get which case it was cited then again you would have to go through the entire judgment see where the reference was made if it even matches you know what you're looking for what this does is based on the paragraph you can see you know in the most recent case where this judgment was cited you click on it you see that okay this was the paragraph that was mentioned this is relevant to my proposition i want to check out this case and then everything is hyperlinked you don't have to open any additional window to you know move on with your search next people who opened this judgment also open a lot of times when you are researching you read you reach a road block. a road block in the sense okay i found three judgments but they are not enough i need more but where do i go from there what should i search more what additional issues can i add to this proposition how do you you know like when you hit that roadblock this is something that you can check out which is people who open this judgment also open it gives you you know a list of judgments which you know uh, based on our user interface and all the user data that we have all the relevant searches that have been run you can see which judgments have been open most With the current judgment that we are looking at, next is citing reference. We provide you a chart of all the judgments that have been referred to in the current case. Okay, and not just that, we also provide you which judgment was asserted, which judgment was dissented, which was affirmed, which was just discussed. Everything about a particular judgment, you can find it in these features without having to go through you know hundreds and thousands of pages. making your legal research simpler faster better in all aspects lastly the feature is cited in manopatra now again we have the most comprehensive legal research database in india what we do is we use we um, through this feature provide you all the judgments and documents where a particular case that you're looking at has been referred to on manopatra once you click on it you get a sorted list you can go through it again it's a mixture of indian and national cases as well as documents so whatever relevance you're looking for based on a particular judgment you can get that now uh, for the students out there how is this helpful most of the times when you read a moot proposition or you're given a moot proposition you will find that okay this relates to that very famous case i know that the facts are the same but where do you go on from that how do you move forward so again cited in manopatra is something that will help you it will show you all the places where this judgment is cited documents international judgments indian judgments with just this you can find all of that without having to actually run a search so just in terms of the uh, amount of time you would have you know invested in legal research it just reduces it by you know more than half all these features i'll just show you on the manopatra website just give me a second So, um, अभी से इस स्क्रीन ओके you know look at your search history on one master so here's the tab for search history if you, there are whatever previous searches that you've run you can find it there i'll just click on it and it again gives me a tabular form of what all cases did i refer to or what all you know research um queries that i ran so i'll just select one of them i'll select gender justice again and so it's a broad one and again these are all the judgments that had gone since i had kept my sorter on decision date it is still showing that i can turn it back to relevance and it would again give me all the judgments 
that uh, sorted by relevance on this particular search proposition. So I'll just show you all these features for Vishaka and others versus state of Rajasthan. So as you can see, cited in Manapasra that I just told you that you know you have a uh, you have a case that you know is relevant to you. You need to know the future history, the uh, precedent, all the related documents to it. All you can do is click on cited in Manapatra. This is the number of times um, this case has been cited in the entire Manapatra database. As you can see, it's a very important case. It has been cited more than 510 plus times. So um, what this helps you with is giving you a tabular list of a combination of authorities. Now we'll just open this judgment. I'll show you all the features. I'm so sorry uh, where I am. There's a lot of rains happening here, so the internet is a little slow. Citation. Wait a minute. So here's the judgment. Um, first of all, I'll just walk you through all the judgment enhancements that we provide. First of all, this is through this tab, you'll get the commentary on the judgment. This is M para cited in para. I'll show you all these features. Um, other than that, um, you know, we have the all the other information related to the case in the terms of the judges that have been a part of it. I was, uh, you know, just going through the queries and someone was asking about um, the councils that have, like, do we have a filter on that? So as you can see, we also, um, you know, if I click on this, I can see all the judgments that Mr. Nariman was, was a part of or Ms. Minakshi Arora. So all these, again, a hyperlink here. Furthermore, subjects, catchwords, where this judgment was mentioned and what the, were the relevant sections that were discussed in this judgment, what was the disposition of the judgment. So it was disposed of. There was this one case, again, um, if you're from a law background, you would know that Nilamati Vera was discussed. Um, what was the case record? It's mentioned here. A case note on the judgment is given here. So all the preliminary information that you would need for, before reading a case to know if that is relevant to your proposition or not, you can find it here. Moving on, I'll just start with showing you all the features that I just mentioned. First is Empara. Now Empara, as I told you, it shows you the important paragraphs. So here on the left hand side you can see there's a list of all the important paragraphs which were cited in further cases on the top hand side of the right uh, towards the right of the window you can see the vishaka judgment which is the judgment that we are reading right now now i'll just select you know one of the paragraphs so the first paragraph which is cited as, as important is this now this has been discussed further in two more judgments as has been given here so in Taru Kurana, as well as the state of Bengal versus Kesoram Industries. Now I want to see where it was referred in, you know, Taru Kurana, perhaps. Ideally, I would have to go back to search, run the search for this judgment, open it, go through the judgment to see whether this paragraph which has been mentioned there is even relevant or not. Here, I just click on this. In the second, you know, in the bottom half towards the right of the window, I get Taru Kurana exactly where you know, the, this particular paragraph has been mentioned. I can just scroll it up and down and see, that, okay, this is the background in which for this particular case, this um, particular paragraph was discussed. Is it relevant to my proposition? If yes, I can use it in my research. If not, I can move on. Now, again, through this one screen, there are multiple steps of research that have been condensed into one. I don't have to open any more windows. I don't have to run any repeated searches. Now, if I want to start, you know, again, read the full judgment for Charu Purana, 
here's the button i can just click on it it would open you know in a new window this particular judgment i can read it i can go through it i can move on so all the research that i need is available just in one particular you know in just one window moving on cited in para as i uh, told you it shows you a chronological list of what was the most recent time this particular judgment was cited so for the most recent time this was cited like just a week back on 17th of may in tripura and you know this is now cited para would show you in a chronological order but also exactly where this um, you know judgment was mentioned what it discussed so it issued directions with you know a view to ensure that cases of sexual harassment of women at workplace are properly dealt with and the guilty are punished now and this is relevant to my proposition of gender justice this is the most recent case in india that has been discussed that has mentioned which are i get it straight from here if i had to you know if i had to know the future history of this case without these features just running searches it's virtually impossible it would take me take me hours and hours of work through this feature i can just you know reference it i can just click on this i can get all the relevant judgments as you can see the list is quite long where all the chapter has been discussed and you know through just this one search interface i get all of those details um again moving on there are a couple of more features that are very interesting which use visualization tools to depict search results so i'll just start here first of all is the case map now the case map and the interactive authority timeline check so what the case map does is it shows you in this visual format a major chunk of the research that goes into a chapter so first of all as you can see it gives you a short case note it shows you the number of times this has been this case has been cited it shows you which cases were mentioned in this particular judgment just one nilhavi vera and uh, you know the citation for the judgment all of that what it also does is through all these arrows it gives you the relation of this case to other relevant cases how now um, union of india versus association of um, commerce i believe that is so you can see that all these cases that are mentioned here have been connected with different colored arrows what do these arrows stand for now if the arrow is blue for example confederation of ex servicemen association this particular case just discussed just just mentioned vishaka if it's a light yellow arrow this particular case apparel export promotion council this particular case discussed vishaka so if i had to find more relevant judgments on the basis of a good case that i have found which is relevant to my proposition i can just do it from here i don't even have to open the judgments that are not relevant which you know just have mentioned now as you can see dark green stands for a light one that is in the union of india um, versus association of companies this vishaka was relied on to give a judgment if i click on it it becomes the center of the case map now for this particular case so association of uh, democratic reforms again you can see that there is a case note provided there is a citing reference provided there is number of site um, times it was cited provided again if i want to read the full judgment all this is hyperlinked i can just go there now this case was relied on in pucl or in kuldeep nair now all these relevant cases on gender justice if you are from a law background you would know how relevant these cases are you can get it just through this one visualization tool no more running queries no more typing no more trying to you know find the right combination of words i would say that work to give you your most relevant search query so here through this one visualization tool you have that the other visualization tool that we have is interactive timeline now interactive timeline gives you in the form of you know same thing but in the form of a timeline so all these cases again april export promotion council that i just showed you in the case map this is shown in a timeline format number of times where you know the particular paragraph that it was cited you can just uh, read it just by rolling over the mouse over the circle the size of the circle shows the number of times it was cited as in how relevant the judgment is so if i just want to look at all the cases of supreme court 
I can just roll over these particular cases. I can read the exact paragraph where it has mentioned, you know, that particular case. I can see whether, you know, it's even uh, if Vishaka has been mentioned in a relevant context or not. So all this makes it very easy for me to um, finish boundaries and boundaries of research through just very simple research tools. Now it's not just provided in this kind of format. It's also provided in a tabular format. Again, hyperlink every um, you know case, the exact paragraph where the particular case is mentioned, written there. Read through it. If you feel it's relevant, you can click on it. You can read the entire judgment. Absolutely. Everything is hyperlinked. You don't have to run, you know, search queries twice or go through any amount of, um, you know, sessions again. Moving on, um, I'll just go back to the PPT and show you what else are the features that we offer here and how it can, you know, improve your research. So next is after you have all the relevant judgments. You've found multiple judgments related to your proposition. You know the right searches that you need to run. How do you organize your search? Do you make, you know, a folder where you download all the judgments and then you share it with someone? Or, you know, you if you're using your uh, office library or your college library and you need to run these searches. Now, what do you do? Do you download all those judgments? Do you take it in a pen drive and then go to your system and use it? All of those multiple steps that are there are completely eliminated with Manapart. First of all, um, we are the only legal research database that provide you unlimited um, copy paste with citation auto paste. Essentially, if you need to copy anything from any of the Manapatra judgments, documents, acts, just directly select the text, copy it, paste it in your Word doc, in your EndNote, in your OneNote, wherever you want. We had one of these questions from, uh, you know, the registrations that can I just copy, um, you know, judgments from Manapatra into uh, Evernote or one. You can absolutely do that. Not just this, then you don't have, if you've copied a paragraph, you don't have to go and type, you know, the judgment name, the citation, the date of judgment, anything. Once you paste it in any platform, an automatic, you know, citation would be generated, which is auto-pasted there, which includes the name of the judgment, the quote where the judgment has been given, as well as the date of the judgment. All these information is provided, you know, straight right there. No need to type anything, no need to, you know, uh, download the judgment and then copy-paste into your research document. Nothing of that sort. You can do it, you know, very seamlessly. Next is Manapatra allows you to download in print uh, format as well as um, you know for download for print in pdf as well as you get the code copy of the judgment now what is the code copy i'll just show you on manapatra right now next is you can email from manapatra directly all you need to do is enter the email id that you wanted to go through enter your own email id from which you wanted to go to uh, if you have you know a message to insert no attaching the documents, no, you know, download. The document will directly go as an attachment in the form of a mail. You don't have to do anything. The amount of research time just this one feature reduces is, you know, completely money. Next is you can download and print in not just PDF, you can do it in Word. You can highlight excerpts in the judgment itself, in the document itself on Manapatra. You can print it out with all the highlights that you have done. You can add sticky notes. You can print it out with the sticky notes. No issues, you know, of any sort. No more. Um, if you're, you know, right now, especially if you're stuck at home, you don't have access to a printer. You don't have access to post-it post notes, all of that. No need. All of those things, you can do it digitally on just the Manapath right interface. Also, if you need for future judgments on the same proposition that you're looking for, suppose you have a case which is three months later. All you have to do is set a search alert and every time there's a particular judgment or any development in any of the cases regarding these, you would get a notification every time a uh, you know, document is uploaded on Manapatra relating to this particular proposition that you have uh, you know, set an alert for. So all of these six things, I'll just quickly show you on Manapatra and then we can move on. 
for the same case again if you want to print this as a pdf you can do it with case note without case note if you want to open it in a browser and share it as a link or you want to save it to you know your local drive you can do that as well you can email directly from manapatra very 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 easy you know all you need to do is type in you know who you want to send it to who from whom you want to send it to now again it allows you to send emails to yourself as well the attachment is already made and added here you can edit any of these fields you can add any of this these fields just you know press on send and your mail has been sent successfully it's as simple as that you need to send to multiple people you you know you can just keep doing this until you're done next is you can obviously download this document in word print what again what print replica does is it provides you the code copy of it now for do this english suppose you know uh, most importantly when uh, we are uploading documents on manapatra when you are uploading draft judgments on manapatra we are very 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 careful to make sure that no paragraph numbers are changed no line breaks are added nothing of that sort but you know these things inevitably happen with legal research databases you know you can look at a judgment suppose the most important judgments like case one and bharti where the original judgment has you know 2200 paragraphs and the database would have like 1800 paragraphs there are so many paragraphs missing and how is this even possible so courts are very very sensitive to this that a lot of especially courts like nclt they just want you to submit court copies of their own orders it is virtually impossible you know getting those court copies from the nclt website itself you know again government websites the kind of lag time and internet time that they require you don't have to look at any of that anymore just click on print replica click on this you would get you know the exact court copy of the judgment you can print it you can download it from here and you can submit it wherever you need to these are the most credible sources of um, you know documents that there can be so that is there again if you have to copy any part of it you can select any any amount of words any amount of you know judgments just right click copy you can go and you know paste it in a fresh document i'll just show you in a document i pasted it here as i showed you the citation of the judgment or the document that you're looking for which that, i can that was notepad are you showing to it's not visible uh okay Sir, I'll just share that. Okay, so I just copied it here. All of you know everything that I had just cut from there. I copied it here, and what I was talking about, you know, the automatic um, citation that is generated. You can see Vishal and others was the state of Rajasthan. The date of judgment, the code, the citation, everything, you know, is automatic. auto pasted there you don't have to write anything your research is going to be super organized taking minimum amount of time um again showing going back to the website you know if you want to add highlighted bits if you want to highlight any part of the judgment i just clicked on that particular icon and i want to highlight this particular line i can just you know select it and select what i need to highlight it's highlighted if i need to add a comment there i can add a comment there if i need to print these sticky notes i can print them with comments without comments every option is provided there so if you're just adding to a judgment and you want to add notes that you don't probably want to print them out with you have that option if you want to print it out with the comments that you have written you can do that so this makes the organization of your research literally you know a cake walk very simple very efficient um now we already we just have 10 minutes more so i'll just go back to the presentation ma'am ma two questions uh, there are one is yes. uh, sunil sir is asking for equivalent citations so okay, can you sure. show the like okay so as you can see here is the manu citation i'll just click on it and you can see all the equivalent citations are provided here AIR, ALT, BLJ, um, Criminal Law Journal, whichever journal journal that you're looking for, they are all provided. You know, so if you are looking for any equivalent citation for any judgment, all you need to do is click on the Manu citation here, 
and you will get all of that. Um, right. Thank you, ma'am. Uh, ma'am, second one is Sapna ma'am is asking for how do you check for an overrule judgment? So okay, I'll just show you. I'll just go back to the results that we had from the gender justice query. So um, what we do is we provide you a red flag for any judgment that is overruled. So as you can see, SP Gupta and, uh, versus Union of India and others, it's a 1981 judgment at, and it has been overruled. You don't have to look for it anywhere. There's a red flag here. If there's a red flag next to the judgment that you have searched for or in your red, um, you know, results, you know that the case is overruled. Now, this information is not enough. You need to know which case was it overruled in. You click on it. Whichever judgment it was overruled in, it was overruled in Supreme Court Advocates on Record Association and others versus Union of India. That judgment would appear. So you can know if a case is overruled or not. Also, you can know in which case it was overruled and then you can move on to that, you know, future case without having to waste any time. That was it. Thank you, ma'am. Okay, so thank you so much. Just a couple of features more. I'll, uh, you know, finish the presentation. And then we can move on to taking all the questions that, you know, there are. The next is someone was, uh, again, I saw it in the chat window that, you know, we provide analytics features. So what are analytics features? We provide three kinds of analytics. And again, these are, you know, AI features that we offer. First is if you just have to study a subject, suppose arbitration. And what you can do is you can go to search analytics. You can write arbitration there. It would show you a visual representation of all the top 50 cases on that topic. You get cases from the Supreme Court and the High Court. There's a timeline. It depicts the frequency of cases, you know, in a particular court, in a particular year. And the relevance is also denoted by the number of times it was cited. You also get a tabular list along with it. So I'll just show you this feature. but. Um, Let's just walk through what the judge analytics are. Now, again, this is a very, very sought after feature, uh, especially, you know, in the recent years, given the boom of arbitration. Now, a lot of times, retired judges of the Supreme Court and the high courts preside over arbitration matters. Um, with them, you know, as uh, the parties to the arbitration, you get the choice to choose your arbitrators. How do you know if a particular judge would be... Uh, you know, sensitive to your particular case or would not have, you know, any preconceived biases, you know. So how do you go about it? With judge analytics, you can see all the judgments that a particular judge has authored. You can see all the judgments he was cited in. You can see all the courts and judges that he has cited. Now, this essentially gives you a storyboard of, you know, what his judgment tenure was like. With advanced judge analytics, we offer you a few more features, you know, your wise judgments you can see. You can see subject-wise judgments. Counsel someone was asking for, you can see which counsel appeared most, you know, before that particular judge's bench. You can see uh, disposition-wise judgment. Is he, uh, you know, in a habit of, you know, disposing most of the appeals? Does he give a chance to appeals more? All these kind of information that you wouldn't get otherwise unless you do a complete study, which is not possible given the plethora of cases, you know, judges are involved in. All this information, very, very interesting, very, very relevant, especially going forward. You can, you know, easily see that through these features. So I'll just show them, uh, show this on the website. Le if you click on legal analytics here from our top bar, you'll find all these um, three kind of analytics features that we offer. First is search analytics, the next is judge and advanced judge analytics. Now I already was running the proposition search for uh, gender justice. So it's automatically come here again, you know, a small example on how, you know, everything is very conducive on, uh, you know, throughout the legal research database, making you, you know, it's really easy for you to switch your result to, you know, move from research to research very faster, very smoothly without, you know, wasting any amount of time. I'll just 
write arbitration here. And again, it creates a visualization for the top 50 cases on the subject that I have searched for. Okay, I'll just give it a moment of time. So as you can see, it is based on a timeline. I can see, okay, arbitration is a, it, given the kind of judicial history that we have, it's still a more recent development. So as you can see, 1975, there was this one single case. Uh, Ravindra Motilal Shah versus Chinabhai Chamanlal uh, Dalal and others from the Gujarat High Court. Moving on in 1990, there were a couple of cases. In 1995, there was this one. And then it has kind of boomed over. Now, um, as you can see, I can see it that in Supreme Court in 1996, there was this case. Given the size of the circle, I can know that, okay, it's very important. This um, towards, you know, in the bottom bar, you can see this particular graph shows the frequency of arbitration cases. I can just click on the results here. I'll get all these, you know, 50 results in the form of a table. I can click on any of them. I can check that case out. I can go through the entire judgment. And, you know, especially if you're starting to research on a preliminary topic, this is a very, very, um, you know, good place to start because you get the top judgments on a particular subject. Moving on, judge analytics. I'll just show you advanced judge analytics and judge analytics for the same charge. So we'll take for Honorable Justice Sikri. Just click here. So this shows you all the judgments he has authored, all the judgments he has cited, as well as, you know, um, quote, um, you know, where he has been cited, where, which courts and judges has he cited the most. Details on that, you know, if I click on a particular quote, I can see the details on that. Again, you have to see that uh, all these, you, you know, you can further filter it in terms of, you know, what was the most recent judgment that he authored. As you know, he died a couple of years back. So this was the last case that he had. Furthermore, a search interface is provided here. So that if you want to know, again, for an arbitration matter, winding up of the company, uh, he's the arbitrator, he's going to be the arbitrator. Now, I don't have the time to go through all of these judgments and see which one mentions arbitration. I can then just run a search query and I'll get you know, the exact relevant results that I'm looking for. Advanced judge analytics provides you a few more features, you know, adding on to judge analytics. So again, I'll show you for Sikrisa. Give it a couple of minutes again. I'm so sorry for that. So for uh, him, you can see ear wise pronouncements. You can see subject wise pronouncements. Councils appear before him. Disposition wise judgment pronouncements. Judges he has cited. Judges he has cited. Uh, he has been cited by. Judgments um, you know pronounced with reference to Supreme Court as well as the High Court. Now, as you can see, these are all visualizations. Okay. Do you get justice? No. You can get again the same, um, you know, visualized data in terms of a table. Now, I want to see all the criminal, you know, cases where he was a part of. I can do that here. Tabular list, everything is hyperlinked. I can just click on one. I can see his disposition, which years he was active, which councils appeared before him. Again, you know, as per frequency, which councils have appeared before him, you can see. So all these interesting bits and informations about a particular judge you'll get, you can, you know, easily get it here. So um, I'll just go to presentation and then we can conclude this. I hope um, this was helpful. And if you have any questions regarding these, please feel free to write it in the chat window. Again, um, thank you so much for uh, being a part of this. And I hope that this presentation as well as the live demos that we did on the website was useful. Um, again, all of this information we keep sharing regularly on our uh, socials, uh, on our LinkedIn page. You can find you know, um, discussions related to our features every day. So uh, just give us a follow there and you'll be uh, updated with any recent you know, new features that we bring on or easy tips on how to use these features. We also cover a lot of legal research 
so if you're you know first year second year law student we just last week posted a video on how you can just uh, go about starting to write a re- legal research paper you know in just a five minute short video that covers all the basic tips and tricks on how do you go about it so for all that information you can you know go and uh, just uh, check out there that would be it uh, i seen there are few questions so um should we uh, um abesa do we have any questions to be to- taken right now yes ma'am ma'am two questions are there for you for that you have to go back to manupatra one okay. is <laughs> one is like you have to uh, show them the commentary so you okay. can take any one hindu marriage act show them the from there uh, sure the bear acts i'll just uh, show them since this was on search we didn't go into bear acts per se so that's a very good question very quickly i can show you everything you know all the features that we provide in relation to our bear acts so again state central bear acts rules and regulations everything is covered on manpatra as you can see from our table of contents here so i'll just open this once and um these are all the features that we provide so we have you know related rules and regulations if there's a bill pending in the parliament you know there's an uh, the site in there you can click on it you can go through the bill that is pending in the parliament brief facts about you know every particular act i'll just show this for the aadhar app so what was the objective of the act what was the date in which it was assented whether the act is effective now in partial or full because a lot of the times few of the sections are notified later what if there have been any amending acts for the particular act which are those again listed here um, you know hyperlinked if there are any proposed amendments pending in the parliament all of that information um, you know we can get here again annotations we can get here um, we can get comparative chart we can get act in vernacular so um i'll just I'm so sorry. I think there's some uh, issue on his end with the internet. Yes, so I'm, again, these... now I'm back. Yeah. Okay, some... no issues. Yeah. So all of these features we provide with our bear acts. So if you need again annotations, would provide you a section-wise analysis on all the sections of the act. You need to read any of these. You can you know just do that from there. Um, what other questions were there, sir? Okay. Ma'am, one more question was there relating to citation search. So, okay, I'll just open that. Yes. Um, I think we are having some uh, issues on Abesa's end regarding internet connectivity. So, if you could, uh, you know. just write down if you have any queries regarding citation search and i can you know uh, just revisit it again if you have any of these queries you'll be getting a feedback mail uh, tomorrow you can revert on it and you know we'll try our best to revert to everyone on whatever queries are pending here so again thank you so much everyone for attending this um, session i really hope that this was helpful and um, again if you have any questions queries regarding this please feel free to drop us a mail at contact@manupatra.com and um, again we keep sharing all of these videos all of these um, features on our youtube channel as well as you know all our, on our social media platforms so um, you know keep checking those out and thank you so much um, for joining in hope you have a uh, an amazing weekend and uh, stay safe be healthy thank you so much thank you everyone for joining us uh, again our social media we are on linkedin twitter instagram so you can 
reach us from there or you can drop us a mail at contact at the rate manupatra thank you for your time happy weekend